Welcome back to another video everyone. Today I'm going to be pitching a movie idea that came to my mind a few days ago. I honestly believe it has massive potential and can make it up there with some of the classics if it's done right. I'm mainly pitching this idea to DreamWorks or Pixar because I feel like they could pull it off perfectly so hopefully they see this and use the idea. I'll be using my own paint drawings throughout the video as well although I'm not good at drawing so you're better off just imagining what this would look like. To paint the best picture in your head imagine the characters that I show as if they were in the same style as characters in B-movie or something. Okay, so here's the idea. The film takes place in an abandoned house. No one has lived there for years at this point and no one has been there to take care of it. During that time, a group of friendly cockroaches have moved in. And when I say group, I mean a whole empire. They all live normal lives. They do normal human things like go to school, go to work, eventually start a family. Think B-movie, you know how they do day-to-day -day activities. Originally, I was actually gonna call the film Cockroach Movie, but you know, I don't think that sounds very good. Now one day, a potential buyer visits the house to check it out and all the cockroaches go into panic mode. They all hide away in the cracks of the walls where they can't be seen. And essentially inside the walls is their own little world. They have their houses, they have, it's where they live. Think of a wall as if it's its own state, right? Each one has its own population of cockroaches and to visit other walls or states to see family or to bring in resources or to make trade deals, they have to go out into the open room and cross the floor to reach the other wall. It turns out that this person who checked the house out actually ended up buying it and moving in with his wife and two kids. This creates a problem for the cockroaches because they can't freely travel to the other walls anymore in case they get caught. Now let's just stop there for a second. I understand that these films always have to have like a love interest for the main character. So we have the main cockroach character who we're gonna call Gary. We have a few of his cockroach buddies and a female cockroach who, you know, over the course of the movie, they start to develop an interest for each other. Just setting it up for the generic ending where they finally get to be together on top of accomplishing the main objective. But anyway, back to the story. Because the cockroaches can't travel between walls now, the economy collapses and the cockroaches experience a great depression. A lot of them don't have access to food, money isn't coming in for a lot of them. Something needs to change, they need a safe way of travelling between walls. So what do they think of? Well, they make an underground network under the floorboards adapt to improvise and overcome right everything is back to normal because they can go under the floorboards and no humans will see them until one day one of the dumbass kids that moved in is playing around and there's this one floorboard that is really old it's squeaking every time he walks over it and what happens is as he's jumping on this floorboard he smashes through it his foot goes straight through it when he lifts up the broken board he sees all the cockroaches underneath it he starts screaming he tells his parents but when his parents come down they don't see anything and they don't believe him because the cockroaches are already back in the walls. And that's what the majority of the film is based on at this point. It's about the kid versus the cockroaches. So, you know, it's about, it follows the story of the main characters basically trying to survive all of this kid's traps that he sets up for them. He tries to kill them in various different ways, basically, and it, it you know, it follows the main story of them sort of overcoming that. Now, towards the end of the film, there's going to be a sort of final boss fight for the cockroaches. See, the cockroaches have their own secret service they go out on spy missions, right? And a group of cockroaches report back some bad news. They overheard the parents talking about bringing in a cockroach exterminator. The kid has been complaining so much about these cockroaches that they haven't seen yet because they're always hiding and they're just sick of it. So they're just gonna bring in a professional to come check the place out. The spies were able to figure out what date they were coming thanks to the parents talking. So the cockroaches have a few days to plan something out. They're aware that the exterminator is gonna find them if he comes because he's gonna check inside the walls because that's what they do. I actually don't know if cockroaches hide in walls. Um, I, I could be completely wrong on that. They probably don't, but you know, it's just a film, so. A few days pass, the exterminator walks into the room and this is how it goes. Two cockroaches carefully place two Hot Wheels cars in front of the exterminator's feet when he's not looking, when he's not paying attention. Just two little toy cars, right? And when he moves forward, he accidentally stands on them and goes rolling forward. As he's uncontrollably rolling forward, he passes a vent in the ceiling. When he's passing that vent, a whole group of cockroaches is lower out a frying pan and he smashes straight into it. Now the exterminator is on the floor, he's knocked out and the cockroaches come together to tie him up. And then Gary can say some sort of generic line like, exterminator, exterminated. 
Hopefully their writers can come up with something better than that. The parents come downstairs and they're terrified with firstly how many cockroaches are in front of them and secondly the fact that the exterminator is tied up on the floor. So they instantly pack their stuff and leave. The cockroaches have their house back, they can freely travel to different walls, everything is back to normal. Gary can celebrate with his girlfriend at this point and yeah, that's the film. I personally believe this has huge potential. Uh, I can see this pulling hundreds of millions in revenue. And then it could even get a video game based on the movie, which you don't really see them doing anymore, but I, I think a video game made from this idea will be quite fun as well. Yeah, so that is my film idea. Hopefully they see this and use it. If they do, I apologize for spoiling it. Let me know down below what you think about the story. And again, the best way to imagine this is if you're imagining it as a B-movie or over the hedge or just any sort of film in that animation style. Chances are you probably watch a lot of those films, so you you'd probably get a good idea of what it would look like. But yeah, that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you all in my next video. Ha 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 ha!